Hi guys, it's Grace. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my shoe collection. I've been binge watching shoe collections on YouTube for the past like, week. I was actually inspired by Lydia Millen's to do this video. Her shoe collection is like my goals for, what, for one day. Because I'm like so obsessed with that video, I decided to make one myself. If you are a fellow shoe lover like myself, I think you should just stop and subscribe. Just you know, just stop and subscribe because you found another shoe lover right in front of you. Compared to a lot of shoe collections I've watched on YouTube, this is nothing but, I mean, 20, about 24 pairs of shoes we've got in front of me. So we're going to have to like speed things up a bit. The first pair of facts I'm going to show you, I've talked about too much on this channel. So I'm just going to be quick. Um, but I've got these Alexander McQueen trainers. I believe they're called the runners. I don't know. Um... I've got the rose gold at the back. They could do with a little bit of a scrub. They're a bit dirty, but this pair of shoes is just my ultimate. I just grabbed these and put them on and I never regret it because number one, they are so comfy. Number two, they make me a little bit taller. They give you a bit of height as well, which is good. And number three, they just make every outfit instantly look more I don't know. I just love the way they look with any outfit. I've worn them with dressy outfits. I've worn them with casual outfits. I've worn them as coat. This is definitely my most worn pair of shoes out of my whole collection. So yeah, I thought I would just get them out of the way and I've spoken about them way too much on this channel. So yeah. The next pair of shoes I have are fairly new to my collection. They are these. I got them from Shein actually. Me and Grace are planning on doing a review of Shein and I couldn't wait so I just opened up these shoes and I love them and surprisingly they're really 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 comfy as well which for a brand like Shein like no offence but I've never actually tried out Shein before and I really really like these. They are definitely your best bet at getting a dupe for the Manolo Blahnik. I could wear these with like jeans and a blazer and just look really classy. Um, so yeah, this is my second pair of flats. I really love them. The next pair of flats I have are actually from Zara. They are these little ballerina pumps. Um, I got these around a year ago, so I don't know if they still have them. The oldest pair of shoes in my shoe collection is probably from about two years ago. So two years up until now. That's when I've got all these shoes. So I'll try and link as many of them as I can below. But I do know Zara always come out with similar shoes to this every season. I believe these were, I bought these around spring though. So maybe wait until spring. But yeah, they are these really cute, very Chanel vibes um, ballerina pumps. I don't really reach for these too much just because, well now I've got my Alexandra Queens. I always reach for them. Um... I don't know, I find it quite hard to style ballerina pumps because in the spring I wear dresses and then with my dresses I like to wear my trainers and it, I don't know, I don't wear them too much but I a little while ago I had a clear out of my shoe collection and I was looking at all my shoes and the ones I kept that I don't wear too much I've been like, Grace, you have to try and wear them because it's not that I don't love them it's just that I find it a lot easier just to reach for my Alexander McQueen's or... I don't know, but I really, really love these. They look really just like simple and they look really classic and just, yeah, they're a really nice pair of shoes, but I don't reach for them too much, which I should. The next pair of flats I have are a pair of loafers from Office. I feel like they're just a staple piece in your wardrobe. They're just a simple nude colour and I feel like every girl needs just a pair of nude flats because you never know when you're going to need them. And they look really nice with like a pair of jeans and a nice jacket like in the autumn i don't know i do really really love them um they're very good quality as well like they're very hard wearing um i'm definitely going to try and reach for these more in the autumn time i'll try and link them down below but you can get loafers like this from anywhere really but i think they're really pretty and i should get more wear out of them i'm not sure whether to consider these flats or not i have these zara block oh <laughs> I have these Zara block heels. I made a point of not wearing my Alexander McQueen's as I always do yesterday. And these really hurt my feet. <laughs> All blisters over them now and they're like bad blisters. <sighs> it just makes me really upset because I love these shoes and I love the way they look with jeans or I don't know. Like I wore them with like this skirt and I love the way they look but they just cut up my feet so much. So I'm thinking maybe... Definitely keep these shoes, but wear them for 
things where I only have to walk up the road or things where I've just got to walk into a restaurant and walk out again like these are not good walking shoes however they look so nice with every outfit they make it just look so classy chic like they just I love the way they make my outfits look but yeah it's a shame they really cut up my feet so the next pair of shoes I have are sort of a designer dupe. I do one day aspire to own a real pair of these. I mean, these look so similar that, to be honest, you might as well just get a pair of dupes. These are very, very good dupes for the Gucci loafers. And I got these from River Island and they were a fraction of what Gucci loafers would be. But I think they look really, really similar and i haven't worn these yet but you can feel that it's like soft leather so i'm hoping they're good for my feet or whatever but i really really love the way these look if you're looking for a similar pair to the gucci ones i mean river island is is your girl if you guys are ogs you may remember these being like my go-to pair of shoes when i was like 13 i loved these shoes and i still do they are these june flats and they're very very similar to the valentino pumps when i was 13 i was desperate for a pair of valentinos and obviously a 13 year old's not going to get valentinos so my mum gave me um her june flats and i need to wear these more um but I think they're so cute and I got so much wear out of them. I literally loved them so much. And I do know June still do very good dupes for the Valentino shoes. And then the final pair of flats I have are this pair of sliders. They are from Zara and they are super, super comfy. I wanted a pair of stylish sliders because I didn't want a pair that looked like sporty do you know what i mean like i didn't want like a pair of adidas ones i wanted ones that looked stylish and that i could wear with um jeans and like dress sort of not dress up but sort of dress up in that sense that looked quite classy well as, as classy as sliders can be really but i mean i wanted a pair of stylish ones so i got these strappy ones from zara oh, you may have seen these in one of my hauls because they're fairly new to my collection um, but I really really like these. I think they're just quite they're quite jazzy. I don't know This is always a good grab for me on holiday. Well, okay, like I say, I'm not gonna wear them in the winter But yeah, they're a good pair of holiday shoes. I've got another pair of block heels but They're more dressy block heels. So I'm gonna show them in the heels Section of the video. I'm thinking I'm gonna go on to boots now It is coming up to autumn, you know I with boots, I do need a pair of flat ones and I do need a, well I don't need a pair but I'd like a pair of flat ones, I'd like to get a pair of flat ones this autumn winter and I'd also like to get a pair of high up ones. It's just hard to find good high up ones I find like over the knee boots, like I find it, I don't know, I find it quite hard to find ones that look nice, aren't too expensive so if you guys know any good places that do them, like I'd like a nice pair of grey ones maybe, I don't know, I'll, I'll wait but um, I'm happy with my boot collection so far. I don't think I desperately need any more. But I'd like a pair of just flat Chelsea boots. And I'd like a pair of over the knee ones. They're going to be like my sort of investments this autumn winter. But we'll see. Okay, I'm going to start with the newest pair of boots to my collection. Which I literally love. I, oh, I'm i so excited to wear these. I haven't worn them yet because the weather still hasn't like properly turned. But... Ooh, these boots make my heart beat a bit faster when I see them. I love these boots so much. I'm not really sure what to wear with these boots. So if you comment down below an outfit idea maybe. <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit stuck with these. But as I say the weather hasn't turned. So I haven't really had a proper chance to wear them. <laughs> these snake print boots. I love these so much. So they've got like a pointed toe. You can just feel that they're really really nice quality and yeah so they've got a pointed toe. The heel's not too big. It's one of the like stiletto heels which is a bit different for me. Normally I would go for a block heeled boot but I mean I've got a bit different. There's a lot of pattern going on right now. I would definitely 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 never ever ever wear these two together in my whole life. I'm holding them up and I'm like <laughs> no. Just Oh, I don't even know. I don't know how to describe them. They're just... I love them. And snake print is so in right now as well. So, I think these boots were definitely a good buy. And I haven't seen them in the shops, which must mean they're selling out. So, you know, grab yourself a pair. Next pair of boots I have 
do go with this outfit. I've actually tried on this top with a denim skirt and these boots and it just looks amazing. Like, I love the way it all looks. So, they are these red sock boots. I know they're very, very vibrant. I know, I know. But they are the comfiest pair of boots I own. Honestly, guys, they, oh, they just fit like a glove probably because they're like made of sock. But, I mean, you know, they, they just fit so well and... I don't know, I just love the way that sock boots look. They make your legs look nice. When when you don't wear like jeans and you wear just like a skirt, they make your legs look nice. I just love, I love sock boots, I'm a huge fan. Yeah, Zara came out with this red pair like springtime I think and I got them, you may have seen them in a haul. But these were definitely a good purchase and there's something different to add to my wardrobe as well, which I like. Right, you're not ready for these, they're so cool. These white boots from River Island Holy moly, I love these so much. I just think they're so 60s and they're so cool and they're just gonna make any outfit look amazing. Probably gonna be the sort of boot that I will go off in like two years. I'll be like, ugh, Grace, why did you ever buy them? I'll look back on this video and I'll be like, Grace, what are you doing with those red sock boots and those white boots? But as of now, I just think they are stunning. I'm so excited to wear them with loads of different things. And I think these are the sort of boots that I could wear in the springtime as well. Next pair of boots are just a pair of black ones, but they're quite cool actually. So they look like this. They're huge, I didn't even realize how big they are. Now this is why I'm saying I need a pair of flat ones. I mean, after wearing all these this winter, my feet are just gonna be like, ugh. Yeah, they are real leather I think. And they've got this really cool like detailing at the front and they're sort of like a Chelsea boot style as well. I love these boots, but they're quite hard to wear. Like they look, a little bit funny with jeans that's the only thing i would say like it's quite hard to sort of maneuver them maneuver the jeans into them so maybe i'll get a pair of jeans that are cropped so that they just look a bit more in winter you can get away with wearing really high boots and you just look like a supermodel yet yeah, you're actually like five foot four so you're not but you can get away with it so yeah i love these boots and i am very excited to wear them this winter i think i got these about two winters ago so they're quite old and I've worn the heel in a bit um they're not like the nicest quality boots but I feel like they're just a staple in your collection they're like suede -ish. not real suede I don't think but yeah they're just simple and classic and you can't really go wrong with them so yeah okay moving on to probably every girl's best section a nice pair of heels The first pair of heels I'm going to show you guys are just a simple statement classic that every girl needs in her collection. I feel like I've said that many times in this video. But you can't go wrong with a pair of just black stiletto heels. They are from Zara and they've got this, they're just like a really nice material. A bird literally just fell down from my window. I'm really concerned. Okay, we're going to pretend that didn't happen but I'm a little bit... Um, a little bit concerning. They're so beautiful and they look really, really nice with a pair of jeans. I say that in every... Okay, I've said that about every pair of shoes. But they just look... They, I don't know. I just love the way they are. I just think they look... Oh, they're just lovely. I just love them. Okay, the next pair of shoes I got, I bought yesterday. And I've been trying to be good with my shopping. And now what I do is, is I'll go to Zara. I'll have a look around. Get out. Or if I see something I really like, I'll buy it. But if I, I won't let myself buy anything until I've thought about it and I keep thinking about it until it's like, like I just keep thinking about those pair of shoes that are always on my mind. And I was doing that with these, this pair of shoes right here, these bad boys. I haven't shown them in a video yet. We're getting an exclusive look at these bad boys. So they really, really, really reminded me of, I'm not going to be able to say this, the Giova, Giovanito Rossi um, heels. But instead they've got like this beautiful block heel with this mirroring underneath and their sling backs. I love sling backs, just, just a little fact there. We're going to see another pair or two in this video. Um, but I just thought they looked so cool and they're going to be so comfortable because sling backs always are comfortable. So you've got this like, what's that word? What's that word? Perspex? Yeah, we've got this like perspex bit here. Um, a satin uh, point at the, the toe and then this really cool block heel I love these I think they're so cool like obviously they're probably gonna go out of fashion in like a year but I can imagine these just jazzing up like a more casual outfit like 
jeans. <laughs> I just said that about every pair of shoes. Next pair of heels are from Topshop. They're these really jazzy, sparkly, really high actually um, heels. I think I got these just to go with a specific outfit. They're not a pair of heels in my wardrobe. I'd be like, yeah, I've got to go for those. Yeah, I just love the sparkliness. They're really jazzy. They're good like Christmas, New Year shoes, which I think, yeah, I wore them for a Christmas party actually. They're like perfect for like Christmas, New Year. They jazz up a black dress as well. So I haven't worn these too much. They're not my favourite in my collection, but I do really like them. And I think they're a good colour to have as well because they just go with black. They go with black if you have like a silver dress or go with silver. I don't know. I just think they're really nice. Next pair of heels are fairly new to my collection. If you watch me and Grace's with Ryland Hall, you would have seen these. They are these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous white croc uh, slingbacks. I literally love these to death. I think they're so nice and they're not too difficult to walk in either. So I find sl slingbacks are actually quite easy. I love a pair of slingbacks. Um, they're just white. They make, they'd go with this and jeans actually. Um, yeah, they just... They're going to go with everything and, yeah, watch out for these because they're going to be in a few photos, which you should follow my Instagram if you want to see them. But they're going to be in a few photos, maybe outfit videos because I love these. Next pair of heels I have to show you are these gorgeous slingbacks. I love these so much. They're probably one of my favourite shoes in my collection just because I love the print. And they're not actually leopard, they are cheetah. They're cheetah prints, don't get it mixed up. And they're slingbacks. These are probably the comfiest pair of shoes I own. What shoes? Heels I own. I just love these so much. My mum actually borrowed these and she broke the heel off the back. Thanks for that, Nicola. Thanks a lot. It's fine. We're going to get them repaired. Um, but they are gorgeous and I love them. And yeah, love them. Next pair of shoes I have are every girly girl's probably dream pair of heels. They just remind me so much of Gabby Martino. These Steve Madden pump, well not pumps, heels, <laughs> um, with like a fluffy thing on top and the heel's not too big actually. Surprisingly I haven't worn these out. I haven't found like the perfect outfit to wear them with yet. Um, but I will, don't you worry. And I think they're so pretty. I actually have them on the side of my like cabinet a lot of the time because they go really well in my room and I think they're a good sort of decorative pair of shoes as well. I actually got these in TK Maxx so TK Maxx do good shoes as well so yeah maybe pop in there if you're looking for a pair. Next pair of heels I have are the most Christmassy glitzy heels you'll ever see. Uh, these They are these bow heels from ASOS. I don't wear these too much however I think these are the best Christmas heels. I always wear them over Christmas. They're just, I don't know, they're just so cute. They give me like, for some reason, they they remind me of something maybe Blair Waldorf would wear. I don't know why, but they're glittery. They've got a bow on them. I mean, I feel like Blair would just love them. I'm talking about her as if she's real, but you know, I love Blair. Um, Yeah, how gorgeous are these? A few years ago, actually, and I still am in love with them. They're the sort of shoes that you don't really wear a lot yet, you still can't get rid of them and they still look really cute and I want to get like a cabinet where I can show off all my shoes and that these would definitely go on there. These shoes aren't actually heels but I sort of consider them heels because they make me taller. Um, they are these huge platform heels from Zara and they're just really like chunky but also really glitzy and glam and I really love them. I love wearing these out just with a dress to go out for dinner on holiday. Um, I actually recently got these so well, they won't still have them in there but they're quite recent. Um, yeah, they look really cute. I don't get too much wear out of them, but I do on holiday. So, yeah, I don't own many sandals. These are my only ones. And they just look really nice on holiday. So, yeah. Last pair of heels I have, last pair of shoes I actually have for this video, are these ones. They are these, like, satin, huge block heels. They make me feel like a Victoria's Secret model because they're so big. Um, but... These really remind me of like 70s heels. So if I were going to like a Mamma Mia theme party or an ABBA theme party, these would be my go-tos. I mean, come on, look at them. They are something Donna would rock up in. And this gorgeous like satiny colour. They go with a black dress. I've worn them with black before because they're quite a dusky pink as well. Um, 
yeah, they'd go with pretty much everything. They'd go with like a sparkly dress, I'd say. They'd go with black. They'd probably go with nude if you're wearing a nude dress. Um, I really love these and they make me feel so tall and I love it. And because there's a block, they're not even too hard to walk in, which is it's fabulous. Just in case I haven't edited this video yet, I'm sorry for the amount of times I've probably said I love them, they're gorgeous. There's probably been a lot of phrases that I've said a lot of times, but I'm not the most, you know... I don't know a lot of vocab or verbs, so yeah, just ignore me. Um, if I say I love them, I do love them and I love most of the shoes in my collection. So anyway, stop rambling, Grace. This video is already long enough. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, subscribe if you love shoes, please. Just subscribe to me, thanks. Um, I hope you maybe got some inspo. Um, yeah, it's not gonna be, this video wasn't like the designer shoe collection that everyone seems to do, but you know, a girl can dream, a girl can dream. But I hope you enjoyed it, definitely subscribe, um, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!